Yo, yo, what's up? It's the one and only hip hop game of Hot 97. Logitech G is going down, baby. Launch life. What up? Now, look, PlayStation 5, holiday 2020 is going down. It's confirmed. Let's go. Now, there's five questions and a bonus question that I want to answer. All right. So now let's get right into it. All right. One, PlayStation 5 confirmed for holiday 2020. Do you think they will beat Xbox again? Now, me personally, yes, I do believe. Now, just to let you know, Xbox is coming out holiday 2020 as well. Do I believe that PlayStation 5 will beat Xbox again? Yes. And here's why. One, exclusives. They still not only have all the exclusives that you know we know and love, but they're also working on new ones and based on their momentum and their track work, uh, track record and the type of talent that Sony has, I still feel that those variables are higher than the variables that Xbox have in terms of when it comes to impact. So that's one. Another reason why I feel that they would win uh, that PlayStation 5 will be Xbox again this generation is because they have um, their services. Like, so if you look at PS4, and I don't know why they don't talk about this as much, <clears throat> but their service um, in terms of share play is one of the best features I've ever seen in any console because it allows you to play games that you don't own and you don't have to download the games as well. As long as your friend has them, your friend could literally pass you virtually pass you the controller so you could be in a whole nother state in a whole nother place playing my playstation because i gave you access to it via share play that feature alone right there is crazy and another service playstation now because playstation now it has a lot more games more variety of games and the catalog of playstation as a brand between playstation 1 2 3 4 and now 5 that's coming they just have a larger library and what playstation now is going to actually become is going to definitely rival uh xbox game pass and be more valuable because of the variety so those is just a few uh, reasons why i say that but the main thing is exclusivity and services is why I feel the impact and obviously culture. Because if you look at PlayStation and how they do culture when it comes to like things like PlayStation blog and just having a better relationship, you know, better deals and things of that nature when it comes to their audience, they do a better job with that and with the message than, you know, on um, Xbox and stuff like that. Because Xbox at one point in time had the Gamer Score blog and they got rid of that. Which is something that you should never sacrifice. Because when it comes to the culture and the community that you build, that should never be an option to sacrifice and change. And they did that. Whereas Sony didn't do that. And it speaks volumes to why they are winning now. So that's the first thing. Second thing. Second question. But what do y'all think about the first question that I said? Once again, the first question was, um, do you think that PlayStation will be Xbox again? Especially the fact, especially considering the, the fact that they're both coming out holiday 2020 uh, next year. All right, let's move on to number two. Number two is this PlayStation 5 controller having haptic technology. All right, I'm going to explain what haptic technology is, but PlayStation 5 controller will have uh, haptic technology. How do you think that will be received by gamers and developers? Okay, so. For me, I think it's going to be received in a whole new insane way. It's going to make gaming that much better. So I'll give you an example of what I mean. Haptic technology allows you to feel what's going on based on what you see and experience. So if you're looking at a car go over mud, what would that feel like? If you have a bow and arrow that you're about to shoot, what would that feel like? Uh, if there's fire... You know, around and stuff like that. What type of warmth will that feel like? So, what PlayStation 5 is doing is going beyond just feeling a rumble. You understand what I'm saying? There's more to life and sensation and and feelings in gaming beyond just rumbling. You know, there's a lot more to it. So, there was a technology called Capto Glove. Shout out to my peoples over there with Capto Glove. Where, let's say there's a T. Like hot tea in a, in, a, in a mug. And it felt warm. But these gloves. 
it made it simulated what it felt like to hold a mug that was warm that had hot hot tea in it. Like if you had like uh, crystal balls, pause. But if you had like something like like let's say you had ice in your hand, something real cold, the the glove will simulate what it felt like to have ice in your hand. You know what I'm saying? Like it was real. Like it was amazing in terms of the uh, the technology. Now the technology is in the controller. So beyond just feeling rumble, if you're, um, let's say you're shooting a gun and the heat, the heat from the gun, you'll be able to feel it in the controller. You know what I'm saying? Let's say there's, uh, let's say you're playing a game and you're racing on ice and it's slippery. Like the controller and the analog sticks are feel slippery, like how what you see is happening on screen in the way it should feel in real life if this was taking place. So that's what the controller, the PlayStation 5 controller is going to do now. That right there is complete game changer because all it is is going to do is bring you closer to the feel of the game. So that right there is genius. And I think game developers and um, just gamers period is going to go crazy over it, especially developers because this is something that they've been waiting for. So I think this is going to be genius. This is going to be crazy. Um, three, Blue Point Games. Blue Point Games, the makers of Shadow of the Colossus, they're very excited about the PS5, and they also confirmed that they got a big title in the works. Now, keep in mind, this is also the company that did, did the PlayStation Battle Royale title, and I'm the one who broke the story on the PlayStation Battle Royale game being released. And a part two in this day and age, with Battle Royale being what it is, when you see Fortnite, Apex, etc., this could be genius this could be huge and this would be completely different from every other game simply because of the characters in the game that sony has licensed that sony owns you know so i really think this is going to be insane to see blue point games bring playstation bat playstation all-stars battle royale part two back if they you know confirm that and make that announcement in this day and age going forward i think that'll be huge now but the question is um, do you think that PlayStation Battle Royale is truly coming in a big way? Do you think that is the game that Blue Point Games is working on? Me personally, I can't confirm that, but I'm 85% sure, 85% sure that PlayStation All-Stars Part 2 is coming and I should be able to confirm it to you in the next couple of days. So in a couple of days, I should be able to get on here and tell you officially that it is coming. So... The next thing I want to tell y'all is what do you think Xbox needs to do in order to beat PlayStation 5 this time this time around? So once again, what do you think that Xbox needs to do to beat the PlayStation 5 this time around? So me personally, I think that Xbox leveraging the Xbox Game Pass, getting more into the culture and making sure their games are on point. With the studios that they acquired. I think that's the triple threat that Xbox need to go all in on. Because I feel like with the culture. Especially having the Xbox adaptive controller. And doing these things with the culture. I think it's genius. And I think that right there is going to help them grow as a brand. Within being able to compete against PlayStation. You know in 2020. So do I think they're going to win? No. I don't think they're going to beat PlayStation. But. I feel like those core values is what they should focus on to give themselves a realistic chance at potentially beating PlayStation 5. Because keep in mind, the only time Xbox ever beat PlayStation was during the 360 era in America. They didn't win globally. They didn't win the full battle, but they won a round. You understand what I'm saying? And they won a round, which was a major round, which was the United States. They lost it again, but they showed that they could beat them in that space. And if all they got to do is do the same thing in other territories, and they can actually get the victory. So do they have a chance? Everyone has a chance. But percentage-wise of that chance, honestly, with the way Sony is doing it, Xbox right about now probably have a 10% chance at beating PlayStation. PlayStation is just that strong now. And the main thing is PlayStation learned their lesson. With the PS3 and the mistakes that they made there. That's why PS4 was so great. Xbox, they just learned that lesson with Xbox One. Hopefully, 
come in 2020 Xbox will be in a better position. So we'll see on that. The next thing is this, number five. A lot of talent from Sony has joined Microsoft to become a part of the Microsoft family. Plus, Microsoft has new exclusive studios like we talked about before, Ninja Theory. Um, but would that be enough for them to even the playing field competitively? No. Like, just because you got one person doesn't mean you got the whole machine of talent that made Sony Studios great. So, no. I don't think it's enough. But I'm excited to see what they got. Um, the last question, and this is an exclusive question. So, I'm going to tell you all something very important. There's a rumor that PlayStation 5 will also have a mobile component to compete against the Switch. Is this true or not? I'm going to say this again. There's a rumor that PlayStation 5 will also have a mobile component to compete against the Switch. Is this true or not? Here's what I will tell you. It's true. But not in the form of what you may think. Now, they already announced that the Android and iPhone will have a remote play function. So right now, on my phone, I can play Street Fighter on PlayStation 4 or my phone. I can play Street Fighter 5 on my phone the PlayStation 4 version on my phone right now because of remote play. All I got to tell you is this. Remote play and PlayStation 5 is going to get a huge, huge uplift. So, so think about it like this. When you look at Windows clients like Shadow Play and Liquid Sky and GeForce Now and, you know, when you think about those types of things on PC... And then you think about what PlayStation Now is and the ability to do remote play. It's going to be a combination and a collective of all those, all those things to bring to you a result that let's say you are, let's say you on a plane, you know, or you staying at a hotel, whatever it is, how you got Chromecast and all this other stuff. There will be a way for you to utilize all mobile devices with your PlayStation controller to play all your PlayStation games. And when I mean all, I'm talking about PS1, PS2, PS3, PS4, and PS5. You will be able to play on the go. You utilizing any mobile device. Any mobile device. You will be able to play your PlayStation games on. And to my knowledge, you won't even you won't need an internet connection to do it all the time. I believe a lot a lot of these functionalities will be downloadable. So you will be able to access them even without an internet connection. So there's a lot working working behind the scenes. But PlayStation didn't want to leave the PS, the PS Plus and the PS Vita alone. They still want to do stuff in that space. And they believe that software will be the driving force. For the hardware that already exists out there in the mobile world. So that they'll be able to dominate. So when you look at Nintendo Switch. It's it's own hardware. You know what I mean? We already know that. But in terms of mobile phones and just mobile devices in the world. You know, they dominate Nintendo Switch in terms of that nature. So Sony is trying to put themselves in a space where they could be everywhere um, that mobile is. Platform wise. Online and offline. Whereas, just like if you look at Xbox Game Pass, X, Xbox, they want to put Game Pass on PlayStation. Like, they don't matter. They just want the brand and your experience to be attached to their brand, which is where their value comes from. So, things is changing, y'all. Everything is crazy. But, yes, I can confirm that Sony is working on a way so that when PlayStation 5 comes out or shortly after, you'll be able to access any and all things uh, in a mobile format using your controller no matter where you go online and offline so stay tuned for that it's gonna be crazy it's the one and only hip-hop gamer playstation 5 is coming soon holiday 2020 is going down on that note we out of here peace